In this video, I'll show you exactly how to open up a free Mercury bank account in about 10 minutes. Here at Starblize, we absolutely love Mercury. I personally use it for two of my own businesses. And I really say that it's one of the perfect business checking accounts for almost all small businesses out there. They're FDIC insured up to $5 million. You can create virtual employee debit cards, pay vendors and employees through ACH, wires, checks, and foreign exchange, and even earn up to 5.43% APY on your cash through Mercury Treasury. If you guys use our link down below, you'll get an exclusive offer where you'll get $250 in cash when you deposit $10,000 or more within the first 90 days. So be sure to take advantage of that exclusive offer. If you're set on getting a Mercury account, I just recommend you guys follow along with this video, use that link down below, and fill out the form while watching this video. It's going to make it a lot easier. So now I'm going to show you guys exactly what the signup process is like, what information you need to enter, and sort of walk you through the whole application process. So if you guys click on the link down below, it's going to take you to this exact landing page where you can take advantage of the exclusive offer that Mercury gave our audience. The first thing you're going to do is enter in your email. And after that, you'll click open account. So now we're going to get started with the application. The first thing it's going to ask you is your first name and last name. After that, you'll enter in your work email. And note, this cannot be like a Gmail account. It needs to be an actual work email account with a custom domain. After that, you'll enter in your password and then click start application. So next, you'll enter in your company name. Feel free to play around with this. You guys don't need to have the Inc or LLC or whatever it is. We'll click next now. And it's going to ask you, is your company any of the following? Is it registered with the SEC? a publicly traded company, majority owned by a public company. And yeah, just read through this. If any of these applies to you, you may not be able to open up a Mercury account. But for most of you guys watching this, this will likely not apply. So I'll go ahead and click none of the above. So now we're going to enter in our company information. If your company does have a DBA doing business as, then you'll want to select this. Mine is not, so we'll go ahead and select the country of incorporation. We'll enter in the phone number. Next, you'll enter in your employee identification number. After that, you can put in your company website. It's optional. You'll select your company type. So I'll select S Corporation. You guys can select LLC or whatever your business is. Just select industry. So I'll go ahead and select something here. And you'll tell them what your company actually does. This does not need to be super detailed. After that, you can enter in any major investors you have, but that is completely optional. So now we'll click next. Okay, next you're going to enter in your company address. So I'll go ahead and select an address right here. It's going to ask you, where do you do most of your work? So please provide the office or residential address where you work day to day. I'll select United States, same address and go ahead and click next. Now it's going to ask you about the ownership details for your business. So you'll enter in your legal first and last name here, the email that you use, your job title, and then the ownership percentage that you have. So since I own my company 100%, I'll set 100, click continue. If you have any other stakeholders within your business, you'll go ahead and click add stakeholder here and enter in their information. But since it is just me, I'll go ahead and fill out the information for myself. It's going to ask you about your citizenship status. So I am a US citizen. You'll enter in your social security number your phone number, date of birth, and then your home address down here. After that, they're going to require you to verify your identity. So they're going to want you to actually upload a picture of your US issued ID or international passport. So just click on this and do that. I'm not going to show you guys in this video. It's going to ask you about any political exposure. So have you or any persons associated with you ever held a political office in a foreign country? The answer is no. You can also share your social media if you want. And after that, we'll click save. And just to show you guys what it looks like to verify yourself, it's going to have you scan this QR code or you can enter in your phone number and that takes basically about two minutes. Now just for this video I did not go ahead and do that so it's going to have this little red mark here meaning I didn't fully complete it but you guys will do that and it's going to have a check mark. So next we'll enter in the company documents. So this is going to be your formation document. You'll select the document type so for example your articles of corporation and then you can drag and drop that or click upload. After that you're going to enter in your EIN document since this is required to open up a business bank account and upload that right here. Next it's going to ask you about about your expected activities. So will you be sending or receiving money internationally? Select accordingly. I'm just going to select no for this video and I'll click next. And then there are going to be a few follow-up questions. So first is who are your target customers or clients? After that, it's going to ask you, how do you usually receive payments and what other types of transactions do you expect to flow through this account? After that, if you guys properly did all of these things right here, there won't be anything here and you'll be able to click review your application. Once you do that, you want to make sure that all the information you submitted is correct correct. And once that is done, you'll click submit your application. Now, if you are trying to take advantage of that free $250, you'll want to make sure that you deposit at least $10,000 within your account in the first 90 days. And yeah, that's basically the application process. After you do this within a few business days, you'll have your account after it's approved and you'll essentially be able to run all your finances through your Mercury business checking account. They'll also send you a business debit card and you'll be able to set up virtual debit cards as well if you want. So that's a step-by-step -step overview of how to set up your Mercury checking account 
for your business. Hopefully you guys got some value from this video. You guys can see it's a pretty straightforward process. And it's only going to take you about five to 10 minutes. If you guys got some value from the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. Everything on this channel is free content that helps you guys start and grow your businesses. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.